Thank you and welcome back. Welcome to the show today. Uh, the topic today is Between Cross and Crescent, a Christian and Muslim perspective on Malcolm and Martin. And of course, we have with us to uh, talk about uh, this perspective uh, on Malcolm and Martin, uh, Dr. Al Hadid, uh, who is the chairperson of the uh, Department of Africana Studies at Tennessee State University. And with Dr. Al Hadid is Dr. Louis V. Baldwin, who is a professor in the Department of Religious Studies uh, at Vanderbilt University. And of course, let me welcome you, Dr. Al Hadid, as well as Dr. Thank Baldwin, you. to uh, the you, show sir. this morning. Thank and you. to uh, say how delighted we are to have the two of you here, yes. and to also to uh, inform our audience that uh, this certainly is not the first time that the two of you have uh, been with us either collectively or individually and uh, looking back over uh, some of the things that we've done, I can recall uh, uh, excellent shows from the two of you. Uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Aladid, I remember quite recently we did uh, uh, something on the African American in the 21st century, which way uh, for the future as well as the African in the New World. Mm -hmm. And of course, Dr. Baldwin, uh, you mm -hmm. came with, to us a long time ago with uh, James Earl Ray's. That's uh, right. Uh, uh, wife, I think, and you did that assassination on uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. Right, and so both right. of you, as well as uh, several other uh, talks about Dr. Martin Luther King. And so both of you have uh, excellent credentials, and I know that you have uh, excellent information for our audience uh, this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Allen, let's start with you by having you uh, to give us some information about your background, your education, and of course Dr. Baldwin will do the same thing, mm -hmm. and then we'll get into uh, the book that the two of you have collaborated on and uh, would like to talk about today. Mm -hmm. you know, I start with the most immediate thing mm -hmm. is uh, I'm chair of the Department of Africana Studies at Tennessee State University, a uh, department that was created in 1994, mm -hmm. and I was one of the architects mm -hmm. and one of the co-founders of that department. And I went to graduate school, University mm -hmm. of California, Santa Barbara. While I was in graduate school, I had an opportunity to study mm -hmm. in Nairobi, Kenya, and it was at that point uh, in 1969 that I embraced the religion of Islam, mm -hmm. and then from that point, uh, made the pilgrimage to Mecca mm -hmm. and came back to the United States with a whole different world view. Mm -hmm. And uh, since that time, I um, have studied very carefully uh, Islam and Pan-Africanism and also uh, the plight of the historically African-American colleges. Mm -hmm. I graduated uh, from Alabama State University in Montgomery, Alabama. Mm -hmm and attended George Washington Carver High School, mm -hmm. also in Montgomery, Alabama. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Dr. Baldwin? Yes, uh, I grew up in Alabama, as you well know, Dr. Aladid and mm -hmm. I are from Alabama. Alabama. Mm -hmm. And I attended Talladega College and got a BA in history in 1971. Mm -hmm. And at that point, um, I thought I had a call to the ministry, mm -hmm. and so I decided to go to seminary. Mm -hmm. And I went to Crows in the fall of 71 and received mm -hmm. two master degrees, one master of art, one master of divinity. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 1973 and 1975, respectively. Mm -hmm. um, also, as a student, I had um, the opportunity to participate mm -hmm. in student demonstrations uh, in the 1960s, and that had a great influence mm -hmm. on my decision to become a scholar, to mm -hmm. become a professor. So I left Talladega and went to Crozer Seminary, and from there, I decided to pursue a PhD at Northwestern University in the history of religions with an emphasis on Christianity. And I received a Ph.D. in 1980, and since that time I've been teaching and writing, mm -hmm. uh, mostly on Dr. King. I have three books on Dr. King. I'm primarily interested in the history of African-American religion and culture, mm -hmm. and, and also um, uh, the history of civil rights crusades, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. particularly the modern mm -hmm. civil rights crusades. Very good. And of course, uh, <coughs> I think the uh, two of you have collaborated, as we said earlier, on a book, Between Cross and Crescent. And uh, let's uh, have uh, the two of you give us some information relative to that book. And we, of course, we'll have an opportunity following the first commercial break to get into uh, some detail in mm -hmm. reference to it. But uh, let's have the two of you sort of give us an overview mm -hmm. in terms of what uh, the audience can expect uh, from such a publication and uh, the efforts that have gone into it and mm -hmm. the things that you believe to be important in terms of bringing this as uh, a scholarly work in front of our audience this morning. Mm -hmm. Let's start off you, with you, uh, Dr. Alan Dean, yeah. and of course, Dr. Ball, and I, I'm almost sure that we'll be interrupted, yeah. but we'll pick, you, pick it up at the uh, end of the uh, okay. first okay. second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I think my uh, involvement mm -hmm. started in 1985. Uh, it was at that time that I created a concept at Tennessee State University called the Great Debate. And in that forum, uh, we uh, 
debate current issues from the perspective of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and try to achieve a dialectical synthesis. Mm -hmm. So it was about that time that I met Dr. Baldwin. Mm -hmm. And as fate would have it, he was also trying to bring some type of synthesis and mm -hmm. some type of common understanding to Dr. King and um, Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. And so as he was working at Vanderbilt uh, in terms of writing his books and doing a scholarship, and I was working at Tennessee State organizing the great debates, mm -hmm. He and I just kept talking, exchanging ideas, mm -hmm. and he would come to the great debates. I would go to his classes, mm -hmm. and uh, we worked together. And so finally, we just decided, well, let's write this definitive mm -hmm. book mm -hmm. so that we can thrash out mm -hmm. some of the contradictions and the misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. And so we started working on it. Uh, we did a first draft and an outline. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think he got busy uh, getting his tenure and, and full mm -hmm. professorship at, uh, mm -hmm. at uh, Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. And I got busy doing the same thing at Tennessee mm -hmm. State and creating the Department of Africana Studies. So once we got all our uh, ducks lined up, mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. said, well, this will be our capstone activity. Mm -hmm. And we came back to this project. And mm -hmm. we think that this is certainly, this particular book will be a defining moment mm -hmm. for both of us. We see it as a capstone mm -hmm. experience. What do you say about uh, this, I, uh, uh, Dr. Baldwin? Uh, Dr. Al Hadid here. has given you much of the story mm -hmm. in terms of how we met mm -hmm. uh, in connection with the great debate series. Uh, one of the things that we um, realized immediately, of course, is that we both come out of different faith traditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, Malcolm was a Muslim and King a Christian. Okay. And uh, we've noticed over the years the problems that often exist and the tensions that often exist mm -hmm. between Christians and Muslims in the African-American mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. You often have a lot of competition. Uh, both are proselytizing faiths and uh, um, self-righteousness, competition, other problems have often led to differences, fragmentation, mm -hmm. tensions. And this book, uh, we decided to write a book that would would deal with Martin and Malcolm mm -hmm. as sources of dialogue for Christians and Muslims mm -hmm. around issues of culture and interfaith dialogue. Mm -hmm. uh, so as Dr. Al-Hadid said, the book has been in the making, if I might use that terminology, for about, about 15, 16 years. Mm -hmm. uh, because we've debated, uh, he's been to my class, I've been a part of the great debate series. And out of that kind of collaboration, mm -hmm. uh, we decided to produce this study. Mm -hmm. So it's a product of 15 years of, mm -hmm. of research and collaboration. All dealing with the uh, perspective of Malcolm and uh, Martin in reference to uh, just a whole variety of issues, I would imagine. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, now, now what kind of, and I'm sure you'll get into uh, this later on, but, but what kind of initial uh, problems you uh, had in terms of bringing these views together and how were these problems resolved? Well, I think this is a, a great time mm -hmm. for this book to come out you know, in light of the things that are happening in the world mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. uh, with the tensions between the uh, Christian West Good. and the Islamic East, mm -hmm. uh, with African Americans rising to the occasion calling for reparations, mm -hmm. uh, with the resurgence of white supremacy, and with the uh, followers of uh, Dr. King mm -hmm. and Malik al-Shabazz uh, now starting to realize that there has to be a central position. Mm -hmm. uh, in the 60s, you see, uh, they were put in juxtaposition mm -hmm. to each other, diametrically opposed. Mm -hmm. In the great debate, we say that Dr. King represents the thesis mm -hmm. uh, of integration, assimilation, mm -hmm. and then uh, El Shabazz represents the um, antithesis mm -hmm. of nationalism and Pan-Africanism. And so when you put these two in tension, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you miss the commonalities, which would be mm -hmm. the creative synthesis. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is to go through all of those apparent differences and to come out with some common themes and commonalities mm -hmm. to show that these men were more alike than they were different. Okay, and of course we'll allow the two of you to talk about those uh, the likenesses uh, after this uh, first commercial break and we'll be back with uh, our audience following this first commercial break. The topic is between